Hey guys, this is um a commentary coming to you live uh with Bonnard7 and with Fama. Hey, how's it going guys? Okay, um we're here to talk to you about some Medal of Honor gameplay. Um we're we'll give you our thoughts and what we'll what we think about it. So right now we're we're doing some, I think it's a rush type, like from Bad Company 2. Uh, you defend and attack accordingly to your faction. Um, Fama, what do you think about this game? Well, it's a very fast paced game. In my thoughts, since I only played in PC, and I'm not much of a PC gamer, um, it was pretty good. But maybe if I would have played it in a console, I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah. Like, but uh, overall, I've seen a lot of hype for this game. I mean, I think it's going to do well in the market. When uh, the PS3 beta came out for it, I was on it, and a lot of people were on it. Uh -huh. So, I, yeah, I, I think heard, overall it's a pretty good game. I heard from the um, console, they said that the the game wasn't very good, but considering it's on, a, it's on a beta stage, we can't really expect too much, you know. Do you think that it can... It can go against Black Ops, and since you were talking about the market, like market-wise, go compete against Black Ops. That's a tough one. Um, I mean, Black no. Black Ops and EA, EA versus Activision. You know, the big, the big two. <laughs> like, well, yeah. Um, I don't know. I I still believe that. The Call of Duty series has a bigger fan base overall. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's gonna take at least a couple more games for people to start getting bored of that shit. Yeah, and maybe to move on to something else. But I mean, when does uh, Medal of Honor come out in like about a week? About a week from when that comes out. Right now, people will probably play it maybe till the next shooter comes out, which is Black Ops, and then uh -huh. probably won't pick it back up for another three, four months. Yeah, because I don't know. There, there's been some some speculation of. Maybe Black Ops wouldn't be as good or something. Yeah, I've, I've heard about that, you know, since it's made from Treyarch. Yeah, and that. Really messed up on World at War. Yeah. Besides Nazi Zombies, um, people have been debating whether they should buy that game or not. But uh, so far from the videos I've seen, it's going to be a, like the Modern Warfare 2 we all expected for. Like we all expected <laughs> that would, yeah. would be. Yeah, it, it, lo it looks like it could be like a mix of. Some like not 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 the Call of Duty bullshit. No rage quit. Not as much rage yeah, quit. <laughs> but let's hate get rage quit. Let's let's get back to Medal of Honor. Um, well, sharing my thoughts on it, I think it was a pretty pretty um, good game. It it shows a lot of like you have to be really tactical about it. You can't be running out into the open like. If if you watch this video, like I, you can rarely get out in the open, and because if you do, you're basically dead. Because people are always, they always have crosshairs in the in the pinch point areas, and basically, um, how how do you think this thing compares to Bad Company Two? Because that's, I think that's a a better comparison. Well, um, comparing it to Bad Company. I feel like when I played it, I feel like the enemies are sort of like right there, more closer in the map. Mm -hmm. Like, you have, it's more fast paced than Battlefield. Battlefield's like, you know, being strategic, going out, yeah. running like to a really far place or whatever. Yeah, Here, cool. I feel like I just go out, I would respawn, and I would have to like keep my eyes open already for an <laughs> enemy because they're all around me. Yeah, in this video, you'll see that I'm getting spawn raped constantly because. I make some, a few stupid decisions, but most of it. Well, actually, I skip the parts where I get spawn raped because you know, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there. I have. I'll be honest. I have rage quitted in this game because a little lag here and there, but not just just a bad game, I guess. Right here. But 
the game I, th I think the game will do pretty well because like for me Medal of Honor was was always my my first was my first first person shooting game and I think a lot for a lot of gamers it's in in the in my age group I think this is their their first person their first first person shooter as well well uh, to tell you the truth I was never really into first person shooters yeah so I played the very first Call of Duty uh -huh. on PC and um, that's pretty much my first person shooter like my very first one so I guess since oh uh, yeah Call of Duty I would see Black Ops as like just another shooter <laughs> and Black Ops yeah your that's your preferred your preferred um game FPS. Yeah. yeah you're you're more comfortable with uh Call of Duty's in interface their controls but yeah i think um the the, the game handles pretty smoothly like when I don't know if you noticed, but in in Call of, or not Call of Duty, uh, Bad Company Two, we there was a lot of like bulkiness feeling, like oh man, I'm I'm running so slow. I don't know if it was the maps or it was just the people, but I played I played Bad Company Two for a good while, and I felt that you ran really slow, and it was really. It it kind of yeah, hate, kind of hated it. But yeah, me you know, too. That's why um, they have vehicles. <laughs> since I'm really really used to Call of Duty, yeah, Black, uh, Battlefield was like a big letdown for me. I feel like if yeah. the game they would have been a tad faster, yeah, they would have took maybe even Call of Duty out. <laughs> Cause yeah, that that's important. You wanna you want a real real um kind of fast paced more arcade yeah yeah I mean that's what that's what people wanted the market now like people play to you know have fun not not to run run in really boring motions and stuff <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah um Battlefield uh it's not a big big uh super game for me but coming back to Medal of Honor yeah I feel like this one is maybe better because of a, like I said, the action is right there as soon as you mm -hmm. begin. Yeah. It's not like, you know, oh, I gotta get this vehicle, make it to the other side of the map, <laughs> or every time I die, I gotta go back to this side of the map to kill people. Yeah. The, the running really doesn't feel as slow as you run in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Yeah. Oh, um, here's a big, here, I'm pretty sure this is a big thing in a lot of FPS's right now no prone what's I, I think you have a lot to say about this this portion what do you think about games not having no prone uh, for example prone. a bad company this I think model. prone is a must for a first person <laughs> shooter yeah personally I, I love you know snipe, sniping niggas in the dome yeah so no I always need my prone. I can't snipe niggas in the dome crouching sometimes. Yeah. I want to be either hiding in that grassy knoll or make sure, you know, no one's on me. Uh, but I, our time's up. But yeah, thanks for coming, Fama, and um, we'll see you guys later. Later.